Here we go. Okay, everyone, welcome to what is body whispering and how can it change my life or your life? <laughs> it's already changed my life. So that's what I'm here to talk to you all about. Um, and I, I'm a very um, kind of follow the energy type of person. So if you have questions that come up while we're having this um, conversation you can stop me and call out your question and I'll answer them and if you have any um, you know if there's something that I say oh yep I am going to talk more about that in a minute or let me come back to that then just bear with me and we will come back to it okay so um, and I've just got a couple of screens going at the same time as we always tend to so I am now going to be very focused on you guys okay cool so, um, and if you can't hear me or there is a problem, type it into the comments and I will try and address it. Normally I've got a couple of people helping me on these um, meetings and um, half of my team are in Rome or en route from Rome. I think Aradna's just joined us and she's back in India. So very, very exciting. So um, welcome to everyone and um, a huge welcome to everyone that either has done or has experienced body whispering classes or sessions with me before. And if you haven't, um, then this is even more exciting. So um, yeah, I am a healer. I am, I work as a chiropractor. I've been working as a doctor of chiropractic for um, seven years now in New Zealand, Australia, um, a little bit in India when I do get over there. I have uh, through my life done many different things and the things that I'm really doing or that have really started to work not only for me but for actually hundreds of people now who are either my clients my patients in my clinic or my participants um, in my classes all over the world um, they it is a culmination of my work and that is um, you know absolutely a huge thank you to the work of access consciousness it has been something that I have been doing um, got introduced to it when I was a student at, at chiropractic college and um, over the years have incorporated that work more and more into my work and then along with the other techniques that I use including muscle testing kinesiology being highly psychic, um, being able to talk to bodies as well and really being able to tap into bodies and having them tell me things, being able to work a lot with kids um, because again, don't need words to communicate with them. Um, all of that work has gotten to a point where not only um, are the results amazing and not only are the results changing lives and changing bodies, but, um, you know, we, we started having these classes all over the world, especially in India, um, Australia, New Zealand, where, you know, I really wanted to step into showing people what else is possible. And so when, when we have these conversations, when we have these classes and we have these calls, inevitably the first question that comes up is what is body whispering? And it's such a fair question. <laughs> and every time I've had that question asked, I can guarantee you the answer is different because this body of work is something, body whispering with Dr. Adela Fees, which is you know, body whispering is not just what I do. Lots of people are body whisperers. Lots of people talk to bodies and everyone has their own way of doing it. And so that's what I'm trying to step into more and more and trying to show others how to do. And so every time we have a class, that class is 100% different to the class before. Or every time we have a call, it's 100% different. And this work is really something that comes through me. It's really something that I am a vessel for or I am really a conduit that, you know, I'm here and I'm willing to do whatever I can to bring healing, bring peace, be that person that is you know someone who is not only doing it for myself but showing you how to have that communion and sense of peace with your body and also in your life so body whispering you know while it started off probably five years ago uh, six years ago as something that was quite 
focused on the body and what information the body has for us and how to change issues with the body, whether it was weight related or sickness or health related or um, something that you just couldn't change, whether it was behavioral or physical. It's now become something that um, goes across every area of our lives. It's something that, you know, now in our classes, we talk about um, the information that you and your body and your awareness has about money flows, about business, about how to heal other people, how to be and step into your healing capacities. And so, the, you know, this class, um, you know, the, the two-day class format is really starting to be created as a two-part class where um, the first day or you know, the first part of the class is really facilitation and healing for yourself and really changing any area of, the, of your life that you want to change. And then in the second part of the class, we get on the tables and we do, and we work on each other. And um, the point of me doing that is to show you what I know about how to, be, how to step into your healing capacities and how to be um, someone who's a facilitator and a healer and how to bring your work into this world because each and every one of you have um, a capacity you have a way to work with bodies or a way to work with people that is absolutely unique to you and just like I found the way that works for me and it creates miracles and it changes people's lives I know that there's a way for you to do that too so you know um, a very common question that I have people asking is, how is Body Whispering um, with you? How are your classes any different or are they different to an access body class or a body process class? Are you teaching us a body process? And the answer is no, absolutely not. Um, the point of my classes is that I'm not, it's not about teaching you how to run a process where you say words in a particular way or run a particular energy. It's actually about what do you know and how to really start to receive the information to create, um, to really step into your capacities. So you can add the elements of this work to your SOP classes or your SOP sessions or your ESB sessions. Or, um, you know, I have people who are Reiki masters who are my clients. I have kinesiologists. I have... Um, you know, healers, chiropractors, access certified facilitators, people who have been certified in every um, level of access, you know, maestros, all sorts of things. This work isn't about competing with another type of body work or healing work. This is about how to really step into and exponentialize your capacities and to really realize that no one else knows how to do what you do better than you and how to um, really step into that power and how to have life-changing results, not only for your clients, but the more your clients and the more your classes and the more your sessions evolve, the more you will change and the more you will um, heal in every aspect of that word. So um, that was a very roundabout, but I hope helpful um, summary and introduction to body whispering and what the classes are like and also what the sessions are like. Um, you know, my next class is coming up in Mumbai in September and it's right after the COP class. Um, September 25th and 26th, right, up, right after the COP with Gary. Um, but if you're, you know, and if you're coming to that COP, I would love to see you there, no matter where in the world you are from. You don't have to be from India to attend that class. Um, and, but if you're not in India or if you would love to do a body whispering class or would like to experience it, you can, I do um, sessions online or one-on-one -on -one all over the world. So that's always available to you. And I've just kind of done this new website. So if you want more information or if you want to get more of the energy of what body whispering is, um, check out dradelaafiz.com and I'll put the link um, in when I send you guys the recording. And it's, yeah, so the point of this work is to really get out of your head. Get out of the cognitive, get out of what you know, get out of what you've been taught, get out of how you think you should be doing something and start to really tap into and perceive the energy that is uh, the energies and the awarenesses that are always available to you.
So that's definitely one of the big parts of body whispering. Um, so before I keep going, because I have a lot to get through and I've got lots of tips and tricks and tools for um, body whispering, is there any questions? Are there any questions? Um, hi, Adila Radna. So hi, there a question. How are you? So there, some people are saying they can't hear you. Second is, um, uh, there's a question which came to me was, how is that different from SE class? Energy synthesis. S SE class, okay, if you can't hear me, my first thing I would say is put some earphones on. Um, and <laughs> But if you can't hear me, I don't know how you're going to hear that. So, um, Arada, maybe you, could you type that into the group for me? And if it's still not working, I really hope the sound is working on the recording. Um, are there many people saying they can't hear me? No, I just got one message, two messages, so. Yeah. Okay, and so that, and a particular question was for Essie. Essie is, um, to my understanding, and I um, haven't been to a class yet, but I'm, I will be at the Mumbai Essie class because it's a modality that I would love to learn. So Essie is really a modality as far as I can understand it in terms of it's teaching you how to work with the fascia of the body and it's a hands-on body type of body work. And so again, um, a great thing to know about body whispering is it's it can be hands-on and it can be hands-off. And if you're wondering what that means, it means that it can be like, um, like running a body process or having um, a massage and you can incorporate those elements into hands-on body work or it can be hands-off body work. And hands-off body work is like Reiki or energy healing. Um, you know, Aradna is someone who's been at probably the most number of body whispering classes and knows so much and had sessions and really knows about it. Um, and she's one of my favorite stories because after the first body whispering class, her hands started moving by themselves. Um, and, and that's one of the great things. And I'll get her to tell you a little bit more in a second, but that's what I mean. It's like, it's not telling you, hey, your hands have to move like this, or this is how you find this part, or you, or you put your hands in this position and you say this process. That's not what this class is about. This class is like, hey, this is how you follow the energy. This is how you get out of your head and follow your awareness. If you were to do that, what is possible for your style of healing? And um, what happened to Aradna is her hand started moving. So Aradna, do you want to um, <laughs> tell us more about that? Yeah, yeah. So it was funny that I came. So the beautiful part of, I've done both SC and uh, Arila's body whispering and I did body whispering much ahead than what I did SC as. So it was, for me, um, I think it was more of an information as a layman how energies work because I had no idea of energies by then. I was pretty new to access and I had not done any other modalities. And so how Arila was explaining was amazing. And, you know, certain classes, are you get it from the person, you get it. And I never got it from Dean, but I got it from Arila. And it was so amazing that how to talk to your body and how to listen to a Swiss person. So once I did that, I just came home and I was like sitting with my family and I every day had this habit of putting my hand on my brother-in-law and I was just, you know, how, when my hand used to go, I never acknowledged that until one day he comes and sits with next to me and he's like, why aren't you putting your hand behind me? I was like, why? What, what do you mean by that? He says, no, every day you've been putting and something comes out of my, you know, this, uh, uh, I feel so light. I'm like, Really? And I'm like looking at my hand, what Dean says, I'm like, okay, fine. Did I know? I'm like, oh, that's what Adila was talking. And since then, it's just like, you know, even if I was doing body processes and stuff, I knew wherever my hand wanted to go. And the body started, you know, I started listening to the bodies and that, like, oh, that's what it meant. And it was amazing since then. I have done it. So we have a nice show for the next couple of years. But yes, my first step started with Adila totally. And I, I can't thank her enough ever. And Her classes should, are my favorite. I, I should just actually use that story as the opener for all of my intro calls because so, it's just all the elements that I want to talk about. So I'm going to go through them one by one. So yeah. the first 
like there's so many elements here. The first one that I wanted to talk about is um, yes, this is this is a no prereq class. So whether you, like I said, whether you're a maestro or a CF or a Reiki master, you can, if you've done lots of energy work and body work, or if you're completely new to access or haven't even done bars, you can still come to these classes. The reason I created um, these classes as a no prereq class is because, like Aradna said, I, I don't like what my role is is to bring really practical hands-on useful information to people so that they can use it and you will then progress at your own rate and you will add in other things to that um, to that body of work or to that information and knowledge that you get from my classes but everyone's got to start somewhere and that's that's why I made this a no prereq class because I really think the information that you get in these classes is one of the best foundations for doing um, any type of body work, but also to, to start living a conscious life or to start having awareness of your body or to start healing any area of your life. It's not too, um, it's very advanced we don't hold back and we don't go oh this is a beginner's class we're only going to talk about beginner concepts um believe me you know often by often by lunchtime of day one we're like oh my god this is this is nuts and we're kind of wiped out already but on the other hand you know, it's about really realizing that you don't have to have been doing this work for years to be someone who has a really natural affinity to it. So it's not about putting a whole lot of prerequisites before you're allowed to come to a live class with me. This is about, you know, maybe you're the person that comes to this class and starts seeing angels and starts being, a, I don't know. And, um, you know, I don't know what's possible for you, but this has changed the lives of so many people so many people are so completely different um, when they do one of these classes or have one of these sessions that you know and until now i haven't had a reason or need to put a prerequisite on it so that's one of the points another thing that you know aradna was talking about was like really trusting yourself this is about starting to trust your abilities more than what i tell you or another facilitator has taught you or what your teacher has taught you because like i said you might have some amazing capacity that no one else knows about and until you're willing to um give it a go and really trust your knowing how else are you going to get there? You know, my hands started moving. Um, I I did ESB, you know, years ago with Jane. I think it was about six, seven, about the same amount of time that I've been practicing chiropractic. Um, I did my first ESB class. And after that, and Jane worked on me. And then after that class, my sister got really sick and she ended up in hospital. And I said, sure, I'll go. You know, of course, I rushed there and I wanted to um, help her. And my hand started doing this weird, like quite intense shaking energy thing. And I was just as freaked out as anyone else. I, you know, and I thought it was really weird and I thought it was like crazy and I thought I must be making it up or it must be just something weird happening. But, you know, if until you really trust that work and that's what this you know again i'm here in these classes as a facilitator to help facilitate your trust and building your trust and your awareness in your own work and knowing how to follow that energy and not getting freaked out by what's happening or how your hands are moving um, you know, I work on people from across the room. I can work on people on the other side of the world because, and I really trust that work. And when I trust that work and get out of my head, absolutely miracles happen. Like we have the most amazing results. But if you question that work and if you wonder, oh, am I, is my hand really moving on its own or am I just doing it and hoping that it's moving or am I really doing something working on someone from the other side of the room? Like if you go into doubt and if you go into um, questioning your ability and questioning um, your talent, then you're never going to build on that. You're kind of not going to progress. And so what, you know, my classes are about is creating this really safe, healing 
environment where it's really safe for you to explore and step into your capacities and no one's going to make you wrong. And one of the things I wanted to talk about actually on this call, and this is just a tip for anyone that's a facilitator or a body worker, or if you want to be a healer or a body worker, you know, about really starting to cultivate the energy that's required to be that person in the world. Like when you are doing this work, it's such a gift to the world and it's such a gift to your clients and the people that you're healing or helping. Um, but it's really important as well that you, um, that when you are doing that work, you are absolutely in a space of no judgment, no point of view. Um, there's no um, sexual energy. And what I mean by sexual, not um, I know for everyone that does access, you know, we talk about sexualness, but I'm talking about a place where you're using judgment or attraction or um, physicality. This work is about seeing people for the entirety of their being, like seeing someone for the being that they are and recognizing their being and facilitating something for that being. And so, you know, these classes, some of the exercises that we do in the one-on-one -on -one body work that we do, it's about getting you to that space where you are just able to see a person for the entirety of their being and able to facilitate something for them, not look at someone as a physical human form in front of you and kind of operate from that space because what you will achieve in those two different situations are two completely different things. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the things as well that I love being able to. So that's just a tip for, you know, whether or not you um, have ever thought about that. But if I don't know if for those of you who are body workers or healers or facilitators, you know when you have a session or you work on someone and there's no cognitive thought about it, you're not thinking about it, you're really following the energy and you're really facilitating. And, and I can work on anyone. I can work on people I don't like, people I love, people I don't love, people who I can't stand. If you are on my table, I... And apps, I will do anything to facilitate healing for you. I'm 100% there to be the greatest gift that I can be to you or your body. And so that is the space that I really encourage all of you to get to when you're working with people. Um, and when you get to that place, you are really being um, a healer or a facilitator for profound change, not only for that person, but for the planet. Okay, do I have any more questions? Okay. All right. So I'll keep going. <laughs> I did have a lot to get through. And so that story was great, Aradna, because it gives me so many talking points all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, the three... The three kind of top things that I, I wanted to go through in this call or that I like to go through or what I teach you, for example, in the two-day body whispering class is, um, number one, all of those things I talked about, how to really be that space of no judgment, no point of view, um, not being limited by what you can see with your eyes, really stepping beyond and really tapping into all of the energies that are available to you, all of the other, um, like in the last Body Whispering class in Delhi, we really tapped into all of the other energies, all of the other beings, all of the light beings, all of the other things that were a contribution to us in that room that we're willing to help facilitate those sessions when we were working on each other. Um, okay, so that's one. Number two, I really want you to start to trust in your own work and what you know. So like I said, whether you have never worked on someone before or whether you've been working on someone for 20 years, you, what you know is what you know. And don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. And if anyone does try and tell you otherwise, like really look at where they're operating from and, and who that belongs to and what the value in them judging you or buying into their judgment is because if you continue to trust in your work, your work develops more and more and more. And then you get to a point where, like me or many other facilitators, you can kind of just 
do the craziest shit like honestly we have these classes where we are just talking about the most far out wacky concepts or doing things like having people's bodies and having them trust you to be and be so vulnerable with you but if you trust your work you create a space where they absolutely trust you to be that person that can take them somewhere where they've been really wanting to go and they've never yet found anyone to take them there so if you're willing to be that person um you know your life will change um, and the last the last thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I always if you hear me talk a word that I often use is the word congruent I love this concept of being congruent and con being congruent means what you do matches the energy or you're not saying one thing and acting in a different way so when you are really congruent that's when magic happens when what you say what you do and what you think are all on the same wavelength um, you you create a real strength of character and you create a real strength in your work so that means and that again comes back to trusting the process trusting the work and trusting your body and the awareness of the information that your body has so why these classes were called body whispering from years ago um, when I first started working or doing these one-on-one -on -one sessions with people, um, it, it didn't matter what area of their life they wanted to change, whether it was finances, whether it was relationship, whether it was past abuse, we would all, I would always say to them, you know, your body has information. I just need to unlock it from your body. And so it was the whispers that came through their body that I would listen to and interpret and give them that information or touch their body in the way it needed to, or do an adjustment or do whatever re was required by listening to the information that their body had. And it created amazing results. And so body whispering isn't just about whether or not um, you have something in your body you want to change or how well you can work on someone's body. It's about if you're stuck in a rut in a particular relationship or if you really need to change your money situation or if you really know something else is possible in this world and you don't, and you don't know how to find that information, you don't need to go very far. You actually just need to go within. And so this work is about really starting to look within for answers and tapping into that information and awareness um, and giving you really practical ways to do that and going through practical exercises that you can do on your own once the class is over so that you know how to tap into that information no matter where you are and what you require. So, uh, I'm just going to keep going because it's it's not often that I don't get interrupted <laughs> this far into the call with lots of questions. So I hope I hope it's because everyone thinks it's great information and not because you actually can't hear me. Um, so uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is um, in I'm going to do like I've done this call today. I'm going to do another call next week, actually at the same time, this uh, next Saturday and the following Saturday. I'm going to do two more calls like this on Zoom and they're going to be free of charge and they're going to be two um, topics that I'm really, that really I love and I'm really enthusiastic about. One of them is body whispering and kids. Kids are... I just love working with kids and I see more and more and more kids and I'm working with more and more and more kids. And the reason I'm working with so many kids is because working with kids changes the world. It changes the planet and it's changing our future. It's changing what's available for the future of our world. And so um, I work with kids who have behavioral issues, who are ADD, ADHD. I work with lots of foster kids. I work with kids who are highly gifted and talented. And I work with kids on the other end of the spectrum who are always getting into trouble at school and are really struggling with reading or writing. Um, so I'm going to do a 
another free Zoom call next Saturday. And um, if you've got kids, I would love to have them on the Zoom and they can ask me any questions that they have about changing something in their body, in their life, to do with school, to do with peers, to do with their parents. Um, or if you're a parent of a child and you have questions or concerns about your child, or you're wondering how a body whispering class or session could help your child, I'd love to have you on. Um, also, by the way, for the body whispering classes, the um, children, any child that attends, it's free of charge um, with their parent. Um, I, I love having kids in the class and they are really amazing. They're such an amazing contribution to the class and it also changes um, their confidence in the world going forward once, um, once they know um, that they are amazing, but maybe they don't get told it often enough or they hadn't realized that something that they perceived as a problem was actually a talent or an ability that they have. So that's part of the work that I do. Um, and lastly, the following Saturday, so that's in a fortnight from now, I'm going to do body whispering and how to use it for money flows and business. So those are the two topics coming up in the next two weeks around body whispering. Um, and Aradna Tulika, who is going to be back in India soon and Sonali who's in Mumbai, Aradna's in Delhi, are all available for those of you that are in India and have questions about the class or would like to register for the class. If you want to register, again, the link is just on my website, but if you'd like to chat to one of these ladies about it or um, tell them that you'd like to register, you're welcome to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Aradna, do you have any questions, comments, anything to add? Sonali, do you have anything to add? No, I think, um, Reena, and that was a lot of information. Thank you. That's it's like, I, I, I always <laughs> that, love the information. That, like, that was wow. 40 minutes, so imagine two days. This is why. <laughs> two days, days, I know. Don't come oh, if you don't want to be fried now. <laughs> it's like life-changing shots as always. Thanks, Adila, you are so generous with everything and I'm so looking forward for the next two calls coming next weekend and then next weekend especially the business and the children yes that'll be exciting and um, what else is yeah. possible and how many more people can join us yeah. and yes I any questions they can join actually the venue we have for the class in Mumbai is not huge so um and we've already got a few registrations. If you're even thinking of registering, can you let one of the girls know or send through a registration form on my website and just write maybe, even if you're not 100%. Um, because I, we don't have a lot of time between now and the class itself to move venues or go to a bigger room. Um, it is actually their biggest room and there's, I think the capacity is only around 30. Um, so if you are even thinking about coming to the class, let us know, because um, I'd also like to make sure we have enough massage tables for everyone. So that is just my request. And um, yes. yeah, that's, that's about it. Yes. So thank you. If you were on here live, I thank you for coming and I thank you for your time. And if you didn't join us, um, I hope this recording has found its way safely to your inbox. And if you have questions, get in touch with me or get in touch with one of the three ladies I mentioned. Um, and I will see you all next Saturday at the same time. A new link will be sent up for that. Thank call. you. Thank you, Adila. I've been so um, so dumbstruck with all the information that you keep giving. I, I was just nothing to ask. I'm like, oh my God, let me just receive everything that's going on here <laughs> so I'm like blank it's a question oh my god we're just soaking in all of this information <laughs> and I must say every time uh, you speak it's like there's so much to receive so thank you thank you thank you oh. I mean these are like these are like classes unto themselves these little zoom sessions by you know it's really yeah. changing. So guys, I mean, if you don't want to change your life, you really know what not to choose. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. And thank you, everyone. And I will see, hopefully, many of you in Mumbai. I'm really excited. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, take care. Thanks, Adila. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.